Hey, welcome to Strength Side. Uh, we're going to talk about bear crawls today. Now, bear crawls are kind of popular um, to do for conditioning type work, but we actually really like them for uh, bracing the core here and then moving our shoulders and hips on this brace core and learning uh, how those shoulder mechanics should properly move, right? But then, you know, like I said, they're awesome for getting you revved up as well. You can use this for a warm up, um, or you could just use it for maybe a little conditioning at the end. The thing is, is that we want to make sure that we're doing these correctly though, right? If we're just getting down on the floor and not thinking about anything and going, there's a good chance that our spine's gonna be all out of position. We're not gonna be getting out of it what we want, okay? So the main thing that Trevor's, that Trevor's gonna do here is he wants to get in a very good position to start, right? So he's drawn that rib cage down, um, you know, for us, we really like this for people who have extension issues, so we even want to force a little bit of flexion here, and he's going to push these, this chest away so his shoulders are nice and protracted. Now from here, Trevor can come up off the knees, and now he's in this stance here, four points, right? As you can see, his back is totally flat here, and that's what we're looking for, right? So from here, he can just simply start his crawl by moving opposite limbs forward, boom, Great, and you see how his back is staying flat, right? I could essentially put a bowl of soup here and eat it right now. Uh, I don't really like soup that much, so, so I probably won't. But um, the other thing that, that we're really looking for and that Trevor is displaying is that he can move his, his knees um, and his hips in this forward direction without sprawling them out into external rotation like this, right? That's a, that's a common mistake you'll see in this, right? We want to be able for him to flex that knee straight up. Um, the other thing is that the shoulders here, sorry, he's probably getting a little bit tired, but at the shoulders is he really wants to reach forward, right? We don't want to have retracted shoulders, okay? We want that chest pushed towards the ceiling, and then when he's going forward, he's really reaching out, right? Using that um, upward rotation of the scapula to, to uh, mobilize his movement here. Okay, so guys, this, like I said, you can use this as a drill to get everything firing. This will help out your movements, um, like squats, lunges, deadlifts, um, and throw it in at the end, you know, get your sweat on, get some conditioning in. All right, guys, that's the video. See you in the next one.